السلام عليكم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد سيد الأول الآخر ماذا دين رسولنا محمد بن سعد بن صالح الرسول ماذا دين مشاهد الدستور مولى إن شاء الله فاز دعسان إن شاء الله محمد آل الحقان مدد طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية الله عز وجل بيروح الفتنة our holy prophet says in a hadith Fitna is asleep, may Allah curse whoever awakens it Says our holy prophet We are living in the end of times there are lots of fitnas, discords and dissensions. Everywhere is as dark as night. Because fitna is darkness and oppression. And whoever makes fitna will be cursed. Fitna causes great harm to people. Fitna is made in order to cause all kinds of evil to people. We are living in end times. They never leave people alone. If someone making fitna hopes to have benefit or comfort, they are just cheating themselves. Curses descend upon them and all of their good deeds are erased. They will not have anything but the sins and punishment of Allah for their sins in the hereafter, Akhirah. Whoever does goodness finds goodness, and whoever does evil will certainly have a bad ending. He will end up badly, in a bad situation. He will never find goodness. Do not believe in fitna. Do not be involved in fitna. If you are involved, you will be harmed too. Do not listen to everything you are told. The world is covered with lies. Lies and cheating. Fitna is everywhere. If you believe in it and think you will find benefit, you will be at loss as well. As we have said before, there were newspapers where they would publish this. If there were wrong news, lies, fake news, they would try to correct it even after years. And people forget, would forget about it until then. But nowadays, there's not just a newspaper, but thousands of bad tools of shaitan. If some villain, foolish man says something, people believe it straight away as if it's the word of Allah. And they share it everywhere. When you share it, you get no benefit but harm. You find harm. There's not even one true word in a thousand words of those who speak, those who make fitna. Not even one in a thousand is the truth. As we said, if you don't want to be cursed, be careful regarding fitna. Don't believe it and don't share it. Their goal is the goal of shaitan. They are the soldiers of shaitan. Allah says to son of man, Allah and if you obey most of those upon the earth, they will mislead you from the way of Allah. If you believe in the majority of people, they will alienate you from the way of Allah. So everyone is in stress and sadness at the present time. 
they don't know what to do because they look at the tool in their hand and see so many things, so many lies. They see them as true and get upset. This is from the big fitness of the end of times. Do not be involved in this fitna. Our advice is not to believe in it. Keep on your way and be with Allah. As long as you are not involved with them, nothing will happen to you. However, if you get involved, you will get your share of the curse. The curse is the worst thing. Allah cursed shaitan, so he was thrown out of paradise. You may fall in the same situation. May Allah protect us. May Allah protect Islam and Muslims from fitness.